Hi guys! Hi. Nice to see you. Welcome nice. back. Thank Come you. on in. Yeah. As far as Jet is concerned, he's uh, underemployed as far as his education and his skills are concerned. So we're working on getting his credentials evaluated and get him back into his profession um, so that uh, you know he's not underemployed, so he can be happy uh, at, at yes. doing it. You know, doing what he's been, what he likes doing. So, um, Jet, yeah. this is the application that we needed for the child um, tax benefit. China native Jet yes, Lee first you. came to the Sea to Sky Corridor to work at the Western Resort as part of an initiative for the 2010 Winter Olympic Games. His employer offered to help him achieve his immigration status. And five years later, Jet was able to bring the rest of his family from China to his new hometown of Squamish. I say, oh, this is a very great chance because I really like this country. Uh, beautiful, every people very friendly, nicely, and uh, that's why I say, yes, I do. Jet had already integrated into the community, but he still needed help easing his family into their new life. And so he connected with Gurji Johal, who's a settlement worker for the Squamish Immigrant Settlement Services, Tuesday to Friday, here at the Hotspot Resource Centre in Squamish. I work with uh, new immigrants and immigrants who have been here for many years and who haven't fully integrated in the community. So for newcomers, um, I sit down with them and uh, do orientation, assess their needs, and then we just take it from there. Good, I love having you at story time. <laughs> they may need uh, access to some forms or cards that they need, or uh, connecting with the community, uh, being able to access local services. How's your job? It's very good. It's good. Gurjeet enrolled Jet's wife Lily in English classes and his son Isaac in preschool and ESL story time. She also worked out paperwork for things such as children's benefits and program enrollment to help Jet return to his native vocation as an electrical technician. I talked to my wife, we're very lucky yes. because Canada government help us too much to immigrate, new immigration, and like uh, to learn English, to mm -hmm. find a job, and uh, to start uh, April uh, some stuff like my children benefit, like uh, some stuff like this. Yeah, so, so lucky. Many people help you, and uh, this no charge you everything, free. Go everywhere free. If I'm not coming here, I don't no believe. Be, yeah, don't believe. You know, like yeah. a good thing like this. No. Hi, Jose. Hi, Gurjit. How are you? Have good. a seat. Gurjit Services also reach out to new immigrants such as Jose Luis Arce, who recently immigrated to Canada four months ago from Bolivia. Step by step, I'm yeah. getting more students. Uh, she was helping me with uh, any kind of uh, things that I need, like for example, if I need to go and uh, to know about the insurance, about driver license, about work, especially about work. Uh, she was helping me in anything that I can use. He was a Spanish teacher back in Dubai, so he would like to do that here. Um, so just connecting him with the rec center, with the schools, with the community, so that he can start uh, giving uh, Spanish classes. Also, I was uh, connected in with the Skills Connect program. Immigrants face many barriers when they come to a new country, and Gurji provides the support to help them overcome those challenges, something they are forever grateful for. I really, really appreciate your help because when I arrived here, I'm, I was a little bit confused. I want to say thanks. Thanks to Guji, to everybody to help me, like the RSS school, like <laughs> the PAN. Yeah. She teached me before, like ESL, the other Chrome. The everyone, like my hotel gave me a chance to do the immigration. Everyone for helping me. I want to say thanks. Really thanks. Yeah. Thank you From so Squamish, I'm yeah. Nicole Fitzgerald for Open Doors. Bye, Lily. See you next time. Yeah. Yeah. Bye, Isaac. Bye, Isaac. Bye. Yeah.